Hi there. We're in the lab with your mate JJ. So uh, today we're just going to do a simple project. I'm uh, I'm working on this Arduino Uno. I'm uh, making a MIDI synthesizer with my friends on IRC, um, and uh, it outputs through a, a, a piezo uh, buzzer. Um, but it's a bit noisy. So what I want to do is I want to um, put a, a potentiometer in series with it uh, so that I can use it as a volume control uh, to, to just turn it down while I'm testing. So that's pretty, that's going to be pretty easy. We're just going to put the um, the Paizo buzzer onto this uh, bit of uh, circuit board I've got here, put a few jumpers in and um, and then we'll, we'll put a, 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 a potentiometer on, on the board as well. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. That's what we're doing today. Um, today's silly job title is Ant Alchemist. Today I'm the Ant Alchemist, and uh, the book teardowns that are coming up are uh, uh, Radio Engineering, uh, third edition by Terman. Uh, Terman's got a bit of a reputation, I believe, as being a pretty solid author from back in the day. So uh, this is Radio Engineering, third edition, published by McGraw Hill. Uh, it's part of the Electrical and uh, Electronic Engineering series, and it was published in 1947. Um, oh, there we go. It was published in 1932, 1937, and 1947. Wow. Printed in the United States of America. So we'll be uh, having a look at this in a future video. And also, the new book teardown, also third edition, is Electrical Engineering 101. Everything you should have learned in school but probably didn't. So that's the new book by Darren Ashby. Um, so we'll be looking at those in future videos. Of course, we'll continue on our Sensor Robot 20. Um, uh, the next um, project will be uh, number nine, and that has been a long time coming. I've done all sorts of stuff. Uh, if you saw earlier, I released the two LT Spice videos where I figured out how to model uh, project nine in LT Spice. So that was mission accomplished in the end, which is really great. Um, in addition to the LT Spy simulation, I am also investigating do a, doing a KiCad design and build. So um, I'm looking at building uh, an actual uh, printed circuit board uh, for the for the uh, project number nine. I'll get my friends at PCBWay to manufacture a board for me. And speaking of PCBWay and board uh, manufacturers, um, my uh, uh, 555 timer boards from PCBWay have arrived. Uh, so that's ready to do a project on as well. Um, now the reason why we got the 555s was all the way back in, you know, months ago. Um, I got these uh, little um, test clips that uh, you can use to uh, like connect uh, onto integrated circuit feet that are uh, uh, installed on a circuit board and I wanted to test them out but I didn't have a good example circuit so I, I decided to make this 555 board. I found it um, on the uh, community projects uh, facility at PCBWay um, and I got it printed and they sent it to me and it's ready to go. So uh, today's project will be the Paizo buzzer but the next project I think we'll do is the 555 timer uh, on the PCBWay board. So, uh, Look forward to doing that. Um, so uh, I think that's everything. Um, I told you about the, the book teardowns. I told you the job title. You know what we're working on today. So um, yeah, let's jump over to the bench and, and let's make this uh, project. Here we are on the bench. So this is our Arduino Uno. This is our, uh, our, our project board. And I just turn these around so they uh, they hang off the other direction. Um, oh. Expect for that to fall off. And <clears throat> might as well show you. Uh, how it's behaving at the moment and we're going to want a USB cable 
give me a sec I'll grab a USB cable here is a USB cable so I'll just put uh, this end send in there and send in here ah oh, now uh, I made a note uh, just having a look at my uh, notes here there it is there okay so the Paisa buzzer goes on pin 9 and ground. So 9 is here. And ground is here. And so uh, turn him on and that's him making a buzzing sound. So... Uh, we're going to need a, um, uh, a potentiometer. And these are my potentiometers here. Um, I've got uh, this kind, which is uh, <coughs> sort of, it's got a bigger head on it than these ones. These ones are for a smaller screwdriver. Um, Not sure what I'll use. Maybe uh, I don't know. How about twenty k? Twenty k sounds kind of okay, doesn't it? Now we had some uh, some probes last time. I went to uh, to do this particular project. I ended up making these probes instead. Um, so, uh, let's pick, say, orange, and, uh, and what was the other one? Brown. Well, we don't have brown, so how about, uh, blue? <sighs> Alright, now, let's <clears throat> put that out of the way. Now, these cables come apart. And what we really just want to do is uh, component testing. Oh, hang on, we won't we won't need those because these have this has got uh, the little test hook clips. So let's just hook one on in the middle and the other one on the side there we go now I've got a um, a ceramic screwdriver that will allow me to adjust this potentiometer indeed alright so we'll turn on our uh, component tester put it into M tester mode now you just press uh, you just press okay and it'll test so it's found a resistor now let's turn it all the way in one direction oh that's interesting wasn't expecting that I was expecting it just to uh... okay well <sighs> Hmm. <sighs> okay. I found Okay, I've got some uh, some test hooks here, so we'll turn this guy off. We don't need him. Uh, 
we want something that will give us a continuous read, uh, which this will do. Oh, look, it's got test hooks there as well. Okay, great. So, um, where did our... Okay, so I'm just going to hook the, uh, the resistor potentiometer up to this uh, multimeter. We'll put him on resistance mode. Okay. And then uh, I'm expecting him just to, to work. Can you see that? No, you can't. How about that? Can you see that? Yes, you can. All right. So, okay, that's uh, that resistance is really high. It's gone all the way up. Let's try adjusting this. It's not giving a stable reading, it's jumping all over the place. Can't quite account for what I'm seeing here. Might just be a crappy multimeter. Well, it did seem to max out at 20k, didn't it? I don't know how low it goes. Seven K, five K, four K, three K, two K, one K. There we go. Sixty ohms, twenty two ohms, five ohms. Zero point three, zero point two. There we go. Okay, so let's do it all the way back up to twenty, just to confirm that we max out at twenty. Hmm. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty.
and it goes all the way up to 20.56. Wonderful. Well, we uh, have confirmed our 20K resistor is in fact a 20K resistor, so that's good to know. Now, I might as well uh, fire up the uh, soldering iron. We'll be uh, using that today. So, iron on, and iron on. Set at 350 degrees Celsius, which is 662 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to need some of my uh, my pens. All right, what have we got in here? That looks good to me. So we're going to want six of these babies. We'll pop two out in the middle and then uh, we'll have two uh, pins available for each uh, connection. Usually we'll only need one but we'll have two. That's not going to hurt us. So let me just uh, snip that off there. There we go. And uh, Let's use the old uh, pliers. What are we going to use? How about these ones? So use the the uh, the needle nose pliers, and we'll pull out the two middle pins because we won't be needing those. One and two. There we go. So that's our uh, our two uh, pins per side, and uh, we'll be popping that in there. And then we're going to need the potentiometer on uh, on one side. I might as well take out the uh, the second pin. We only need two pins. We don't need all three pins. So uh, which one will I take out? I'll take out this one, and I'll do it just by snipping it off there. I'm gonna snip that off there. So we've only got two pins left on this thing. And we're going to need one of our buzzers in here. So I think that's unpolarized. It doesn't really matter which way it goes. So that looks pretty good to me in there. All right. How's that looking? Got uh, yeah, it looks good to me. So, what will we do first? I think uh, we could just tack in the um, I'm just going to put some solder on the tip and then I'll put a little bit of solder on here And now we should be able to just solder everything in.
I'll just uh, bend these in. going to need just a little bit more wire over there. Oh, looks pretty good to me. Just pop that in there. It's pretty good. All right. Well, All right, smelt that in there. All right. That's good, that worked. And we're gonna need just a, some little bit of some little wire. Let's see what we've got in here. Hmm. Those little offcuts I made earlier would be really handy right now. This, uh, this bit of wire is pretty slim. It'll probably do. Yeah, it'll do. one in there and wrap him around and bring him back oh dear me there we go <sighs> just use my little tweezers here Let's twist that around <sighs> There we go. It 
let's just tap that in there. That'll pop in easily. There we go. <sighs> push that on with the soldering iron, it should stick easily. Oop. There we go. Alright. Pretty good. Wonderful. just have to uh, do something similar for this one. Uh, let's just loop this around a bit and we'll stick him on. Uh, which way? <laughs> just a little bit of heat. Ought to stick that on there. There we go. Perfect. And then if we bend him around and up this way, there we go. That'll that'll do just nicely. pretty good to me I'll just chop that off there all right it's pretty warm actually that looks pretty good so let's try that one on there, and that one on there, 
Now if we turn him on, and then if we adjust our potentiometer, that's not working. Did we forget to do something? We may have. What have I done wrong? <sighs> I'm not sure what I've done wrong. That, uh, that should be working. I wonder if I burnt out a component or something. Oh, actually, this is actually polarized. Ah, oh, there it goes. <sighs> so, mission accomplished. And turn it up loud. Turn it down quiet. Turn it down a bit more. Great. Now, does the polarization matter? No, it does not. Great. That is mission accomplished. <sighs> so we're done. Uh, I think. Uh, You've seen everything, haven't you? you you've uh, you've seen our little uh, our little circuit board. So uh, we've got our piezo buzzer, our um, uh, potentiometer with a little uh, screw tip. Um, we've got uh, some headers for uh, connecting uh, to our device, um, and that's everything. So it was just uh, uh, a two K potentiometer in series with the piezo buzzer. Um, on a little bit of board, which is next to my um, my LEDs, I've got uh, green, orange, and red uh, with the series resistor. So this is a handy little bit of things for you know attaching a buzzer or some LEDs to uh, circuits while I'm testing them. That's it. So uh, pretty pretty humble circuit today. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I believe I'll be doing the. Uh, the 555 timer next um, in 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 the in the next main show that I do. Um, of course, between now and then, we've got a whole bunch of Maxitronic uh, Maxitronic projects to do. Still working through the 20 in one or the Sensor Robot 20, um, and we've got the two book down uh, teardowns coming up. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.